Okay, so I just spent the last three hours trying to figure out how to get RAID 0 set up on my new G750JX series laptop. So I got two SSD drives in there and I could not find a driver that would work. Finally got it. Go to Google G750JX. Mine specifically is the dash DB71. you're going to need a thumb drive. Download this onto the thumb drive and you have to if this will ever load uncompress the files alright whenever this loads I will fast forward alright page will finally load it will look somewhat like this or whatever series you have up there. Go to support. Download. Sorry, slow computer. Pick your operating system. Mine is a Windows 8 64-bit. You're going to go down and click on others. Oops, closed it. In this first, well, depending on when you do this, there's going to be one that says Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver. You're going to download that. Click on Global, download it to thumb drive. So I've got my thumb drive got my folder and you'll get a a compressed file just like this one open it copy everything out of there into another one named whatever you want just make sure it's copied into that and it's uncompressed your computer won't read it when it's compressed closing that I will be taking my thumb drive out. You're going to start up. Right. So you notice that first of all, you're going to want to get, you're actually going to start up on the page like this. Your BIOS, go to the advanced, scroll down to SATA configuration. There it is. SATA mode, only one that comes up. You have B in this one automatically. Go to RAID, hit enter. Escape, you're going to go back. And then Intel Rapid Storage Technology. If this does not show after you press RAID, go over to Save and Exit. Save Changes and Exit. Yes. on and I'll come back up. Go back to advanced. It should come up now until I already have one volume there. I'm actually just going to delete it real quick. Alright, so it'll come up like this. This is two drives I have in there. So create raid. Volume one, you can name it, whatever. Can't quite change that. Hit enter, go down, have the X there. You want to mark both of these. You can make this whatever size you want. Because I do a lot of media, I like it just a little bit bigger than default. Create volume, enter. And now you have a RAID volume. You go in there, it'll show you the two tribes, how big it is, what it's, so on. Escape, escape again. 
go over to save and save and exit. Save changes, exit, yes. If you want to reboot, come back up to that. Now you can put your installation disk in. Close it. And pretty much just save changes and exit again, yes. It'll go ahead and check for that disk. It'll come up. Press any button to boot from CD. Oops. And if you're not fast enough, you go right back to you. As soon as that comes up, just hit enter, whatever key you really want. Gamers of the Repub Republic of Gamers to death. Come up, and you'll have to wait maybe a minute, depending. Come up on Windows 8, if it'll focus. Language to install, time, so on. Pretty much read it, choose whatever you want, hit next. Install now. Make sure your thumb drive's plugged in, one of the USB P ports. And the easiest thing is to do just browse. Go to your thumb drive. Go to the folder that you saved that one one in the I Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver. Click on that. Click OK. If you have this, the high drivers that aren't compatible with computer hardware, uncheck that. You want to get a big list of stuff. It's pretty much just going to be the bot very bottom one. Click it. Same thing, anyways. So, it'll be the Mobile Express chipset SATA RAID controller. Click Next, and it'll sit there and load the driver. Accept the license. Next. I'm just used to doing the custom install, Windows only. I like a clean install, just the Windows. I'll add whatever I want on later. You'll have one drive that should be the total size, or a little bit less than what your total size of the two drives added together will be. Click on that, Drive Options Advanced, press New. If you want different, several partitions, whatever, you should know how to do that. If not, just put it at the max and hit Apply. And it will add additional partitions. Don't worry about them. You'll have one over here that says primary. I like to just format it. Unless you don't want to, you don't need to. I like to just to make sure it's a clean. Alright, so about a minute later, pretty fast. Make sure that the primary is highlighted and click next and you will start copying files and so on this will take maybe 10 minutes probably I'll time it almost done 96, 97 it's been almost 8 minutes so, not bad. Install and feature, updates, finish. Good, that part goes pretty fast. Restarting. You can let it run out, or you can click restart now. It'll make a difference.
and welcome to Windows 8. Just follow whatever whatever it says and then X down at the bottom until you're all the way through. And Windows 8's now installed on your computer on your Asus G Series 750J X or whichever J series it is. Thanks for watching.